Welcome to the world of Street Fighter, where fighters from around the globe come together to battle for glory, revenge, supremacy and to be the ultimate fighter who ever lived. Today's guest will be Akuma, the dark and mysterious warrior whose pursuit of ultimate power has made him one of the most feared and respected characters in the Street Fighter universe and maybe among fighting games as well. Akuma or Goki in Japanese versions of Street Fighter has always been a fighter with ambition. From his training with his brother Goken to his terrifying presence in Street Fighter 6, Akuma's journey is a tale of strength, obsession and the relentless quest for mastery. I'm Arkane out here and today we'll delve into the saga of a fighter who has sacrificed everything in his pursuit of the ultimate power. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord channel if you're into fighting games and get ready for the raging demon of the Street Fighter universe. Akuma, known in Japan as Goki, is not just a fighter. He embodies the path of the Satsuina Hado or the surge of murderous intent. His story begins with his training under Gotetsu, a master of a martial art that balances the power of life on Satsuken and the power of death, Satsuina Hado. Alongside his brother Goken, Akuma learned the devastating techniques of their master. As Akuma and his brother Goken trained under Gotetsu, a rift developed between them regarding the true nature of their fighting style. Goken, unable to accept the violent essence and the Satsuna Hado inherent in their martial art, left Gotetsu to start his own dojo. A decision Gotetsu did not oppose. Akuma, however, embraced the Satsuna Hado fully, giving up any compassion he held towards others. He believed that only by embracing the dark power of Satsuna Hado could he achieve the true mastery? Gokan's decision set the brothers on drastically different paths, with Akuma choosing a life of solitude and ruthless training to master the dark art, and soon after leaving Gotetsu's guidance. Akuma trained alone, driven by a lust for combat to death. Akuma's transformation into a being of pure combat began with his desire to surpass his limits, he believed that only through embracing the Satsuna Hado could he achieve true power. Through his intense training and Satsuna Hado's dark essence, Goken's brother Goki changed forever. Soon after these events, returning from his self-imposed exile, Akuma sought out his master Gotetsu to prove his superiority. In a brutal death match, Akuma killed Gotetsu using Shungoku Satsu claiming the title of the true master of their art. As this fierce fight ended with Akuma's victory, he took the prayer beads of his fallen master and wore them as a symbol of his victory. Goken, upon discovering Gotetsu's lifeless body and realizing his brother's transformation, confronted Akuma, who responded only with silence before disappearing into the wilderness. Akuma's journey of mastery continued as he sought out powerful opponents, constantly testing and refining his skills. Years later, Akuma challenged his brother Goken, who had since trained the young prodigies Ryu and Ken. Despite Akuma's insistence that Goken could not face him without embracing the Satsuna Hado, Goken defeated him, refusing to kill his own brother. Akuma, calling Goken weak for his compassion, vowed to return. He did so a few years later, attacking Goken with Shungoku Satsu, believing he had killed him. In reality, Goken survived by emptying his soul but fell into coma. Akuma then disappeared again, leaving a trail of devastation in his wake. By then, Akuma met with Ryu, sensing the potential of Satsuna Hado deep within this young fighter. Akuma's defeating Goken marked him as one of the most formidable and feared fighters in the world, while Ryu and Ken separated their ways to train on their own, becoming world fighters traveling from land to land to hone their abilities. 
However, as Ryu grew stronger, Akuma saw in him a potential successor to the path of the Satsuna Hado, which led to the events of Street Fighter Alpha series. Akuma's quest for worthy opponents took him across the globe, watching small tournaments and street fights from the shadows. As Akuma's search led him to confront Gen, he is eventually challenged by Gen, fighting a vicious battle. Akuma's non-canon ending, just as he begins to wonder whether Gen is the worthy opponent he is searching for, he begins to sense that not everything is as it seems. Although Gen survives Shungoku Satsu by emptying his soul in time, Gen's mouth starts to bleed, confirming Akuma's suspicions. Gen was sick, making the whole fight unfair and meaningless for Akuma. After being knocked to the ground, Gen tells Akuma to kill him. Not wanting to carry the fight on any longer, Akuma leaves, infuriating Gen. This encounter deepened Akuma's obsession with finding a truly worthy opponent, which leads him to Ryu. So he began to test Ryu, pushing him to embrace the dark power within. Ryu, however, struggled against this influence, guided by Gouken's teachings to resist the murderous intent. The conflict between Akuma and Ryu became a central theme in Street Fighter Saga, representing the eternal struggle between light and dark, discipline and chaos. During these events, Akuma's journey continued as he became fixated on Ryu, hoping to awaken the Satsuna Hado within him. Ryu eventually found Akuma's island and challenging him to an intense battle. Though Ryu gained the upper hand, Akuma revealed that he was only testing him, urging Ryu to embrace the Satsuna Hado before disappearing along with his island. From his fights against warriors like Adon, Gai, and Bison, Gan and Ryu, Akuma grew in strength, mastering the art of Satsuna Hado more than before, as these intense battles drove him closer to his ultimate goal. Akuma did not officially enter the Second World Warrior Tournament. Still, he closely monitored the events, hoping to find an etiquette challenge. His presence was felt throughout the tournament as he watched from the shadows, evaluating the participants' strength. During this time, he confronted M. Bison, the notorious leader of Shadaloo. However, the outcome of this encounter remains ambiguous as the clash between these two influential figures hints at the immense power that Akuma wields. However, during the events of Street Fighter II, in a retconned and non-canon event, Akuma ambushed M. Bison and made a short work of him with Shun Goku Satsu, obliterating him instantly. This act demonstrated Akuma's overwhelming power and his willingness to eliminate anyone who stood in his path. Quickly, he engaged in combat with the second finalist, since he turns out to be the final rival instead of M. Bison, if the players have gotten through the arcade mode to the final battle without using a continue, as well as achieving some perfect victories and super finishes during the arcade. He appears first in Street Fighter 2 as a secret character and as a more vicious version of Ryu and Ken, but in the end, the identity of the second finalist and the result remains unknown. In the original Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo and its HD remake, Akuma has two different endings. If M. Bison is the final opponent, Akuma reflects on how Bison failed to master the psycho power and allowed to control him. Akuma's words underscore his belief in learning one's power rather than being consumed by it. However, suppose Shin Akuma is the final opponent, in that case, Akuma reflects on his victory over his own darkness and considers death beneath him. Unfortunately, Ultra Street Fighter 2 removes the second ending causing the first ending to always play regardless of whether Akuma defeats M. Bison or his Shin counterpart. Sometime before the third World Warrior Tournament in the Street Fighter 4 series, Akuma and Ryu dueled, with Akuma dominating the fight. Criticizing Ryu for rejecting the Satsuna Hado's dark potential and urging him to embrace it to reach his true potential. 
Despite Akuma's overwhelming power, Ryu found the strength to recover and fight back, showcasing his resilience and determination. However, the battle was interrupted by Ken, who intervened to protect Ryu, forcing Akuma to leave. During Set's tournament, Akuma continued training and sensed the Satsuna Hado re-emerging within Ryu. This resurgence of dark power in Ryu reignited Akuma's obsession. He sets off to find Ryu, determined to help him realize this power so they could face each other in a decisive battle that Akuma longed to have. Like in previous tournaments, Akuma did not officially enter but stayed in the shadows. During these events, he found unconscious Ryu in the care of his brother Gouken, who had perfected Satsuina Hado. The sight of Gouken protecting Ryu infuriated Akuma, leading to a fierce battle between the two brothers. And years later, these two brothers faced each other, with Ryu being the prize. Both survived their fight with Gouken, saving Ryu from the dark path Akuma wished for him. However, Akuma, undeterred, continued his training and searched for a worthy opponent, displaying his immense power by raising an entire forest. Before moving on to Street Fighter V, let's also talk about Akuma's other form, Oni. Basically, Oni is the form Akuma takes when he becomes one with the Satsuna Hado entirely, completely losing any remaining shred of humanity. According to Rose's wing quote to Oni, it can be presumed that he was meant to show up at a later time, but not during the events of Street Fighter 4. So, this gives the implication that Akuma becoming Oni is not a what if possibility, but Akuma's fate. And what's interesting is that Akuma's original CFM profile and Street Fighter 6 design bear a considerable resemblance to Oni primarily with his white hair and lack of a gi top and sandals. Akuma returns to Street Fighter V as the first character of the second wave of DLC characters. Akuma appeared as he performing the iconic Raging Demon with the kanji for godlike being replacing the heaven mark on his back, with his longer hair resembling a lion's mane. In his character story, Akuma battles Gen again, emerging victorious but criticized by Gen for abandoning his humanity. Possibly irritated by Gen's criticism, Akuma then seemingly kills Gen for good. His frustration grows even further as he sees a vision of Ryu rejecting the Satsuna Hado and starting to fully conquer the dark potential of the power. At that moment, Nekale appears, challenging Akuma for his soul. After their fierce battle, not only does Nekali lose, but when he attempts to devour him, Akuma uses the Mudo Tensho to escape, destroying Nekali's body. After these events, Akuma heads out to find Ryu to see if he really conquered the dark side of Satsuna Hado. Though Akuma defeats Ryu, he does not kill him. Instead, Ryu, smiling from the ground, engages Akuma in a philosophical exchange about their ongoing struggle. Ryu's fists are only honestly responded by Akuma's that's how it was and always will be. Akuma leaves, letting fate decide their subsequent encounter. Of course, Akuma also appears in other character stories. Ryu's inner demon, his evil being, Kage's character story which takes place prior to Akuma's encounter with Nekali. Kage, the embodiment of Ryu's dark side, targets Akuma, however, Akuma dismisses Kage as a mere shadow of his former host, mocking him for his lack of understanding beyond raw strength and endless fighting. Akuma makes Kage disappear with Hoten Seikengeki Punch, wondering if this shadow represents the path Ryu has genuinely chosen. In Street Fighter 3 Second Impact, Akuma again did not officially enter the 4th World Warrior Tournament, remained a formidable presence in the shadows. During this period, Akuma trains relentlessly, developing techniques to create tidal waves and even make the earth crumble. One such technique, Kongo Kokuretsuzan, channels all its powers into a single strike, creating an energy vortex. 
This move is rumored to have destroyed his original training ground, the Onigami Isle, Gokuento. During the events of Second Impact, Akuma sets his eyes on the tournament sponsor Gil, just like what he did during the events of Street Fighter 2. He challenges Gil, successfully executes the Shungoku Satsu on the tournament sponsor and killing him instantly. However, totally unaware that Gil has the ability to resurrect himself. Akuma then confronts Ryu, urging him to show his true power. Ryu, however, rejects the path of malicious intent, emphasizing that true warrior spirit lies beyond such darkness. And before the events of Street Fighter 6, in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, Akuma's skills have reached an incredible level. He battles Oro in a simple yet inconclusive fight, each testing the other's immense chi. While both are mutually impressed, they also hold some contempt for each other. Yet, there is no set winner as they sense it will end in their mutual death if they continue. However, besides his battle against Oro, there is nothing much about Akuma. During his arcade ending, we see Akuma demonstrate his ability to remain underwater, under massive pressure for extended periods, and how he enhanced his Tensho Kaireki Jin technique to the point where it can destroy massive sunken ruins of a modern linear ship. In Street Fighter 6, Akuma is depicted as a demon of combat, fully embracing the Satsuina Hado in his quest to become the ultimate master of the fist. In the game's World Tour mode, he can be found at Enma's Hollow training intensely. Akuma's overwhelming presence is immediately felt when he destroys a falling ceiling rock and beheads a giant ogre statue with a Goshoryuken. When the players arrive at the Hollow, Akuma's imposing aura causes initial fear, Akuma rushes at the player, breaking through their guard with a powerful Goshoryuken, showcasing his unparalleled combat prowess. Seeing that the player avatar smiles like Ryu, Akuma takes this young fighter under his tutelage. As for his arcade story, we see Akuma within Enma's Hollow carving wooden Buddha statues reflecting on his path and his previous fights that shaped him to become the raging demon he is today. As for his last battle, he is again challenged by Ryu, a wiser, calmer and more determined like his master, Gouken. Akuma sees Ryu smiling once again and asks if he mocks him. However, Ryu is determined, saying that their answers lie within the fists they exchange. At the end of his arcade, Akuma, carving maybe hundreds or thousands of wooden Buddha statues, makes his last statue with Ryu's smile. Akuma's relentless pursuit of power and worthy challengers defines his journey in the Street Fighter universe. His story is a testament to the allure and danger of ultimate strength and the sacrifices one must make to achieve it. As Akuma steps into the Street Fighter 6 as the last DLC character of Season 1, we'll see how far he will go in EVO 2024. As one of the most iconic characters of the fighting game genre, Akuma also plays a crucial role in improving Ryu and the Street Fighter as well. However, seeing Akuma uncertain about his improvement and his future made me wonder how we will see him in the next game. Maybe he would consider himself finding a student whose ambition even surpasses himself. I hope you enjoyed the Akuma story video and if you do, don't forget to follow me on Twitter or join my Discord channel. Any humble support through Patreon and YouTube join is really appreciated. And as last, which Street Fighter character would you like to see next? Share your opinions in the comments, stay tuned.